Don't any of you have the guts to fight for blood? I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game. Good morning, Bradford Bass family. Welcome back to the channel. It is about 6.30 a.m. This is on Saturday, April 15th at Alum Creek Lake. We got a surface water temperature right now of about 54 degrees. And this is first thing in the morning, guys. Like I said, you can actually see there's a kayaker there in the background. There's a large kayak open tournament going on with around 84 kayaks in it. So pretty crowded, a lot of pressure out there today. But right now, guys, I'm just out on this point. Um, fishing the shallow part of the point up on top of it. A lot of rock on this point, some chunk rock, and then there's grass mixed in as well. Especially during the summertime, the grass grows really thick around here. It's a really good ambush point um, to catch smallmouth and largemouth both. But uh, I'm, right now I'm throwing around a Rapala Rip Shad jerkbait. It is a four and a half inch jerkbait, and I'm just kind of twitching it and stopping it. You know, twitch, twitch, stop. I might crank a little bit. Now, as most of you guys know, I'm not a big jerkbait fisherman. In fact, I've never caught a bass on a jerkbait until today. So, it's a good dynamite bait to use in this time of year, though. So, it's pretty exciting catching my first bass really ever on a jerkbait. And you'll see it here in a second here, guys. So, enjoy. First one, guys. Smally. It is now about 7 a.m. I put the jerk bait down and I have picked up a spinning rod and I am now throwing a Ned rig. I am throwing a Savage Gear um, 3D little Ned crawl made by Savage Baits. It's a green pumpkin in color, and I'm just on the other side of the point from where I caught the bass on the jerk bait. I'm about kind of roughly where that kayaker was, but I'm still a little further out off the point. And I'm just dragging this net along um, to see if I can get a bite here, guys. And actually... Chunker there, guys. It is now about 10 a.m. We actually left that point, went and tried a couple other spots, and we've now come back. And now we are working the opposite side of that point down the main shoreline there, and we're fishing a gravel bar that's mixed with some sand um, and a little bit of grass as well that comes out off that shoreline. It's like a little bit of a flat right there. And I got the jerk bait again, and I'm throwing it out across there. And you'll notice, watch my cadence. They've been the first time they hit it, they hit it on the stop, and they do it again as well. Right about when I'm about to twitch it again is when he hits. You get that jerk bait in here? Hey, he's a nice one. He's a hot thing. Dang, he bigger than all he was. He. Another one on the jerk bait, guys. The second one on the jerk bait today. All right, guys, so it's now about 10.45 a.m., and we've moved from the main lake point back to a secondary point. The water temperature is a little bit warmer back here, about 58 degrees, and I'm still throwing that Rapala ripstop jerkbait. Um, 
I'm going to miss this fish you're about to see, but it's another one that really struck it hard. But this is my last bite for the day, guys. I like that jerk bait, brother. Good. All right, guys, so before I show you some of dad's fish catches, I'm going to show you a quick blooper here. I'm trying to get this jerk bait out of my pliers, and my pliers are really stiff. So when I'm attempting to open the pliers, eventually the pliers just slip out of my hand, and obviously you can see here, they just fall in the lake. Unfortunately for me, that they were so stiff, they actually stayed attached to my jerk bait. Those are rusted. All right, guys, so now getting into my dad's fish catches, he caught most of his fish, he caught a handful of them on a... Um, three and a half inch Bass Pro Shop Green Pumpkin Tender Tube. If you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you know it's one of my go-to baits. But since Dad was throwing it today, I didn't really throw it a whole ton, to be honest. I was trying some different stuff. Um, like I said, he catches a handful of bass here. He doesn't like to put them up in front of the camera unless they're bigger fish, I guess. He's too cool for it. But uh, all seriousness, guys, um, I'm going to show you a collage here of his fish catches, but it was a good day. Um, it's always good to get out there in the water and fish with my dad. And uh, that's all I got for this one. So enjoy these last few fish catches. Everybody stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you guys soon. That one caught me. Look at that right here. Ow. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. Hold it up in front of the camera. That's better than nothing. Do you keep her? I don't show dinks. Little, Do they 12? Little large mount baby. There's a, there's a little, there's a little killer. Killer. Save enough to eat the tube, huh? There's one. Mm, got a little meat on him. He might go two and a half. ain't even on is it he hit that as soon as it hit the water almost slimy as fuck there's another one. Oh, i found a honey it's loaded in there probably the same fish hungry little bastard Never know when that four and a half moves through there. Yeah, they're smashing that too. 